Okay. We are about ready. There we go. Make sure I get my phone going. Let's get this going. And I'm going to swap it over. Okay. Oh, the volume on my t monitor wasn't off. There we go. Fix that. Okay, so last time we really spent some time trying to get the score on uh, Paradox Pain and Panic and Paradox Cerberus, but I ran out of time to get Paradox Titan Cup done for the score. So right now we're going to just focus on that. As you can see, we need a total of 10,000 points. I get close. I get very close. But then I die on, like, the second to last round, mostly. So the strategy... Uh, let me go to items. I've increased my defenses a lot. <laughs> this is, like, just a pure defense build. And I think the strategy going forward... We could start from round 9, but we have to be able to get our score within 3 uses of Stitch, which means we have to leave one of the purple guy around. And 2, we have to get hit by the right attacks, and that's a lot. That's really difficult. Hold on. So... If we start from round one, I think what we should do is use Stitch twice here, play through the rest like normal, then when we get to round nine, if we don't have the score, we'll use Stitch the third time to get our 10,000. You could get all three on this one, but uh, what I find is that when Stitch does his ukulele, it's very easy to get rid of the purple, the purple guy. And that's a bigger threat. Now, now that we know what to do, we'll sit here. I'm hoping to get the score done for... Oh, look, there's the one that's just sitting there menacingly. Wait, yeah, I'm hoping to get the score done for Titan Cup. And we'll save Hades Cup for a different day. Because that's just going to be basically in the whole stream in general. So if we get the score, I'm thinking we'll go back to data rematches. And we'll target Xemnas. That's kind of my plan, but I want to get I want to get this done first. I know this is very interesting gameplay right now. It's also part of the reason why I want to use Stitch twice here. Speeds up the rest of the route going forward. And we can see how close I am once we get to round, four, uh, round nine. Yield. Oh, wait! 
I got hit. I didn't get hit correctly. Okay. Uh, I think I might dismiss. Yeah, this did not go the way I wanted it. I know exactly what happened. Luckily, I'm only doing this section twice. But yeah, it basically needs to be done within three runs. Because I can't build more drive gauge without fighting in general. But I think I'm still going to continue to use Stitch throughout the rest of the rounds. Just so I can continue to use magic. If I really want a high score, though, I use Peter. If I really want to focus on score on the way to round 9. But I already know that getting three runs of this is enough to get to my... To get 10,000. I already know that. So I think by the time we get to round 9, we should be okay. I think I'll make sure Sid Stitch is still around, so I'll, I won't let him disappear. So it's not going to be a full use of my drive gauge. Okay, and go. Stitch. I don't know why Stitch is not giving me my magic. That's fine. You can stay, stick around for a little bit. There we go. Explosion did the trick. Stitch, where's my magic? Stitch. There we go. I gotta use this. Thank you, Stitch. There we go. We're doing good. Doing good. Man, Stitch is not doing much right now, is he? That's okay. Give me strength. Gather. That was a risky move by not using Magnet first. Gather. Gather. Yeah. Back off. 
going to be heal. That works. Stitch gave me back my magic. No, I'm better off using Thunder. I'm better off with Thunder. There we go. Stitch. Get an him first. Gotta stop that attack. Uh, I lucked out. I lucked out there. What's next? I could die here too if I don't get rid of the bombs. That works. Okay. Round nine. This is where I have to get the rest. Perfect. Stitch, thank you. We hang out here. I'll get the rest of my score. And I can still summon Stitch after the fact. If I need to. But I really want to make sure to get rid of that blue enemy. And I know exactly how to do it. So they stay juggled like this as long as they uh, stay on camera. So we're almost there. We're almost there. Almost made it work. I got... Dang it. I got chased around by the berserkers. There wasn't much I could do. But that's kind of the idea. However, maybe I don't need the... the purple one. Maybe I don't need the purple one. If I'm already only need, like, one more use of Stitch, maybe two, then I don't need him. So maybe I'll just get rid of him immediately. That sounds like a plan. Just gonna sit here and wait it out. Not much to do until then. That's the annoying part about doing this. It's a lot of sitting and waiting around. much to do. I could probably literally sit here on my phone, play like Pokemon TCG a little bit, and play like a round of TCG while doing this. <laughs> Maybe not online though, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm actually surprised on how much I'm actually playing TCG. 
And, and I think it's mostly because there's not much to actually do on it. So that means it doesn't take that much of my time for a mobile game. Like, I can more or less just go in, uh, open the booster packs that I can for the day, and I can end it there. Maybe do some AI fights. Honestly, what? although the event is taking a while, the events that I need to do... There we go, that's what I need. The Lapras one, the Lapras EX event that I did, or that's, I think, still going on. It's not bad. Like, it didn't take long for me to finish. A little bit of grinding here and there, sure, but not that much time. It's the online PvP that's going to take a while that would really need, I would need, like, a full day to really focus on. And it doesn't help is, it doesn't help that I have to win the those matches, too. And right now, to get to the next rank I'm at, I need to get, like, 25 wins in total. And I have, like, I don't know, 7 or 8. So I got a little bit of ways to go. But, like, other than that, TCG is kind of, like, pick up, do my logins. Maybe do an AI match if I feel like it. But it doesn't take much of my time. I think that's part of the reason why I don't really... I didn't... I haven't really dropped it yet. I don't know. We'll see how long I play it for. But yeah, even though I really like the Dissidia one, when I decide to do grinding sessions in that or when an event goes down, it it's like an all-day thing, a couple days to get everything I need done. That took up that took up time. Granted, TCG. The freaking gotcha rates are super bad. Kinda like a normal trading card game. So it at least has that accuracy. I wish I could use a stronger Keyblade, but we need Jackpot. Well, we don't need it. It just helps. Helps speed things up. There we go. I got, I got hit by the rock. You know what? Just for that, I got a heal.
it's safer if I go with Magnet, but, you know, Thunder works out, too. Stitch. Stitch. There we go. Round seven. That could have been bad. Careful. I'm invincible during that. Nope. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Dodge roll. There we go. I'm safe. Actually. Oh, that's why I shouldn't use magic. That's why I shouldn't use magic. Okay. I see. I figured I'd probably maybe do more uh, damage. And I can also safely attack from the ground, but no. I stopped one because I realized I was hitting the other guys. And I don't want them killed. But uh, now seeing that Stitch would just refill my magic, no, it's better to physical attack. We're learning. We're learning. I know. My apologies. And again, if I wasn't forced to be level one due to the challenge, this wouldn't be as bad. Because you could just get it all done on this, on this round right here, and you'll be ha you'll have you'll be at a high enough level to where you could tank hits. I can open a booster pack in like four minutes. I'll keep that open because I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do that while while sitting here. Stitch is almost done. Let's go. Yeah, sometimes Stitch will just refill my MP first. There we go. Now we're safe. Yeah, just keep it going. Oh yeah, I am definitely not starting Hades Cup for the score today. For sure. 
that's basically a full stream in and of itself for for just a single attempt if you want the safe route. But again, there's the there's also the not safe route. Just go through from round one, summon Peter for the first twenty rounds, basically. And try to get as much score as you possibly can, which to get to 15,000, that's, it's doable. But then you have to go through their last, like, I was having trouble with, like, round 30 onwards, so, yeah, I would rather have to do as few fights as possible. Again, not as bad if you're at, like, level 100 at this point. Alright, almost ready. I thought he was going to self-destruct for a second. That one self-destructed. Uh, I don't like this early set. I don't like assassins when they do that. Now we got to do this all over again, and this is what I hate about this. Come on. Do your move. Okay, that spin move if you get hit by all of the, all of the hits work. But you have to get hit by every single one. Alright. Can I open a booster pack now? I can open a booster pack. I'm not showing this on screen, but let's see what I let's see what I get. I got time to kill. Ooh. That's cool, Gyarados. Hyper Beam, discard a random energy from your opponent's active Pokemon for 100 damage. That's really good. Four energy, though, but that's a, that's a nice setup one. 150 HP, that's that's pretty good. Minfu, Clefairy, Pikachu, the Sharp. Okay. Well, that Gyarados one was new. Now I can't open another one for a while. Still got time. I had enough time to basically post that I just got that cool card on, like, Discord. That's how much time I have to kill while waiting for this. Like, that was all real time. Oh, Stitch? Okay, good. We're safe. I could have died there because I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, 
Can we please actually beat this today? I think I have the right idea, though. I'll get rid of the purple enemy with physical attacks and try to keep everyone on screen so that way, you know, Sitch does his work. But I want to get rid of the purple guy first. Don't use magic. And let's go. There we go. Okay, let's try this again and hope it works. You're already going for the explosion. So many are already going for self-destructs. Uh, I don't trust this. There we go. That works out. That works out. Well, got past round two. No. Oh no! Nope. Only one's caught. Oh no! Both are caught. Good. Uh. Gotta be careful. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Now I'm safe. There we go. Four. Pull closer. Get stunned. Magnet. Explosion. Kind of have an idea of what to do. Perfect. Just the dancers. I thought I could get them both with one thunder. That would give me more score, but oh well. Stitch. Stitch, I, I need the magic. Thank you. That works. Perfect. 
Again, Magna Burst is the important move here. Perfect. Now we got the bombs. Okay, none of the bombs started to self-destruct. That's a good thing. Round nine. Finally made it back. Nope. Been hit by both attacks. Make sure everyone's on stream. There we go. Got rid of you. Now I should be able to safely get my score. Did I complete Bloodborne? No, not yet, Pikachu. Uh, I made it to Orphan. Orphan of Coes yesterday. And apparently there's like an optional boss that I still need to do. But that's how far I got yesterday. I got very close to beating him a couple times, honestly, Pikachu. Honestly, like, I'm not as stressed out when fighting Orphan than I was fighting, uh, uh, Ludwig. Surprisingly. Okay, almost got the score. Magnet. There we go. Made it to round 10. Made it to round 10. Now it's just Herc. So if I want to play this completely safe, we stay as far back as possible. We make sure to dodge everything. And we spam thunder. Eventually, after a certain amount of HP, his attacks, like, last longer. So, we just gotta... Again, gotta play it completely safe. Because one hit from him can kill me. It's hilarious that he could get stunned that way. Stitch is just here to refill MP. That's all he's here for. Playing this completely safe. Let's go. By the way, Pikachu... I have some new commands you can mess around with if you wish. Here's one. You do that, the stream avatars. Uh, you place a bomb and you can explode. Did it work? And then there's, yeah, there's the, there's those two. Don't know why the bomb didn't go off. There we go. 
It's good to know that works. The the mass firework ones. You could do uh if you just do command firework, you can do that yourself without uh, using those commands, but it only works on yourself. The mass variant affects everyone. Now, luckily someone's here. I wanted to uh, test something out. There is something I wanted to test out while uh, doing this. Uh, so if I do... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let you mess around with that first. See what everything does. That, that could have been bad. Carefully. I want to make sure he gets thrown into the air. Oh, he's only getting hit like twice before he goes invincible. I gotta wait this out. Yeah, he's only getting hit by thunder twice. Before he goes invincible. But I can still hurt him during certain attacks. Oh, that. Yeah, none of that, Herc. I don't want that. Out of stock? Oh, was that all of your channel points? So, actually, there's one thing I want you to test out if you don't mind. So, I want to make sure if this works for you or not. And I... So I have those as commands, but if I do as a command, mass, let's do mass bomb. Oh, you have a lot. Okay. If I use that as command, you can't do the same thing again? I know I have it on a, okay, there's mass bomb. It is working. I... I thought I put it on like a one minute cooldown. And that's it. Just a one minute cooldown. Like each of those. Each of the like the mass variants. So as you can see, I did the command for mass bomb, and that's something I can do. Can you type in command mass bomb and see if it works? Because it shouldn't. And I want to make sure that's the case. Because if it does work for you, then there's no reason for you to use the the channel point rewards, and that's not what I want. Yeah, it has to be a space. I'm just giving it a glance. It doesn't seem to work. And that's exactly what, since you're not a mod. Okay, that's exactly how I had it. And the mass variance is, for you, the mass variant is the channel point rewards. However, like I said, as commands, you can do the normal variants for yourself as a command. Assuming it works. There we go. There's a delay on the on that end. 
But yeah, mass variants is channel point rewards. Individual variants for yourself can be just a, a command. I'm gonna need to resummon Stitch. Wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. Wait it out, wait it out. There we go. We're almost done. Wait it out. That one lasts way longer than it should. Another two. No, no, no! He didn't get stunned. And I almost had it. Damn it. <laughs> no, I battle royal is something I can do. Damn it. I almost had it. He just didn't get stunned. Oh, I gotta do all that again. Oh, I hate that. I'm... We were so close. But we have the right idea. Dang it. Uh, it's just explode. Uh, explosion's not a command that works. Explode works, not explosion, apparently. I don't know if there's a way for me to customize it and be like, hey, work it with this word, too. But yeah, bomb, freeze, explode, and firework. Yeah, there you go. Shadow points of our out of stock? Hmm. What does that mean? Really? It's still not working? It's been more than one minute and it still doesn't work? Oh, that's... Hold on. Can't mass explode. That's weird. Hold on. Mass bomb. Redemption cooldown. I have it set to one minute. That's all I have it to. Time between redemptions up to seven days. I have it for one minute. Because I could choose minutes, hours, or days. Limit redemptions per stream. I. Oh, you know what? I think I know the problem. Max total redemptions for viewers. Use redemption cooldowns and limits. So, max total redemptions for viewers, max total redemptions per stream. What if I set it to like 999 or something? Maybe that's part of the problem. Because I have to enter an amount for some reason. Give me a sec. Then... Freeze. Okay, all that should work. Oh, tech issues. Try it again. See if it works. If it doesn't work, it might be a... Uh... Might have to check next stream and see if it works again properly.
Yeah, having the ability to pause is nice. Okay, mass bomb works. I'd be careful when using multiples because it might not take if one's going off. So maybe I need a better way to organize it. Yeah, bomb works. Try the explosion again. You know what? I'll try the explosion again. I'll try it. So yeah, it's on the cooldown, but it didn't work for you. Here. Uh, no, wait. The point is to use up the channel point. Give me a sec. I'll use it. Five, four... Two, one. Okay, so I'll use mass explosion. There, it works. I want to make sure so you didn't really waste those channel points. To at least use it in some way. And that's why I still have the ability to give the command for mass explosion, just in case something like that happens. If it's missed, I could just activate it myself. Yeah, and, and at least I only have it for like 10 points, so I have it very cheap. But still, I would hate for you to waste points like that. If it's not used correctly. And right now, I think 10 points is just kind of a placeholder. It may stay that way. I may increase the amount. I don't know. But right now, it's just 10 points. And, you know, it might, it might just stay at 10 points anyway. Dang it. Yeah, it's a good thing I figured out how to make him work anyway. Because I knew there was a way to do it, I just didn't know how. Gotta yeah, set this up again. That's the annoying part about all this. So, I guess I want you to test to see if the ones you already used again will work again, but it seems like it's already working fine. I put a 999 limit as a per person and a per stream. So... I could increase the number, but... No, you shouldn't be hitting that. And if you do, I'd be impressed, honestly. Oh, Mass Bomb needs a, uh... Well, I can click it. Yeah, if you don't mind retesting it. I don't know... Yeah, I think the lowest I could do is one minute. If I were to put a cooldown. I think that's the lowest I can do. I put the reloads on there... Mostly due to the fact that uh, it only takes one of those mass ones at a time. So it, the reload's there just to try to get a... Uh, you know, so, so some points don't get wasted. Granted, some points might end up getting wasted anyway if someone tries to explode and someone tries to bomb at the same time. It's whoever gets it first.
give me my MP. Stitch. Stitch. There we go. Still on the stop. Really? I don't understand. I am look. I am looking at my channel point rewards. If I look at Mass Bomb, my options are to name it, description, the cost, reward icon, I don't have those, uh, cooldown limits. Use redemption cooldowns and limits to viewers. My options are the cooldown time, which I have to one minute. That's how I have it to. Limit redemptions per stream, which is the total redemption for everyone. I have it set to 99, 999. And limit redemptions per user per stream, and it's, again, 999. So I don't know why... I don't know why it's not working for you. It might be one of those things where maybe it won't work because I changed it midstream? I don't know. It's weird. Oh yeah, there is one more thing I found that you can do, but I don't know like how to f like, fully implement this. So like, Not worried about it. Yeah, I know. But again, there's the normal commands for just regular bomb and regular explode, freeze. You know, that's all there. But yeah, there's one... Uh, there's one you can do that I forgot to mention. Let's see if it works. Don't know if two commands will work at the same time. Yeah, there it works. It's over. Back off. A little slot machine can pop up and... Gather. Oh, whoops. Did you self-destruct me, or did it not work? Because I don't know if it can... if it works. Dang it! Yeah, I don't think I have it set up to target someone else. Dang it. Speaking of self-destructs... Try that. Let's go. There you go. Oh yeah, you can make a little slot machine pop up. And I think if you match you get like some of the Streamlabs, like, gold thing. Not Streamlabs, uh, Stream Avatar's little gold things that you get. Double checking to see if everything works fine. Yeah, I placed the bomb, so yeah, it works. 
Well, a little hard to see with all the money floating around. That's for sure. That is for sure, but it's, you know, it's stuff you can do. But I don't know what else to really do about that. I can't really make it bigger, so... Besides, they're the right size anyway. out. can't do anything so far on your stream. Well, uh, stream avatars is actually, you know, just something you could get on Steam. And it's fairly cheap. Speaking of which, battle! Oh, you stream from PS5. Ah, that makes sense. There we go. Limited to just pop up messages? Really? Ah. Oh. If only you had a capture card. And then, you know, set everything up through there, too. I mean, when I first started, I didn't have a capture card. I just played games on, like, Super Nintendo emulators and Game Boy Advance emulators, stuff like that. So, like, if I had stream avatars when I first started, I could, I would be able to run both. Yeah, streaming from console, that's a little different, for sure. <laughs> Which I have never attempted to act directly stream from. Actually, in this case, it would be PS4. Nothing fancy on your stream, just bad gameplay. I mean, you clearly have not seen my streams when I first started. It was nothing fancy. Bad gameplay and a webcam. No background either. You can easily double check that. I don't hide it. I'm not joking when I say, like, I didn't even make a background for myself till, like, last year. And it was a crappy ba orange background. And then it was a crappy blue background. But hey, I made it. Just so it looks slightly better. Careful. Good, they're both captured. Perfect. Hey, Monsai, it's going. Uh, it's going okay. Trying to get the score done for Titan Cup, and I made it to Hercules once before, but he didn't get stunned by my thunder and killed me. And I was, like, just a couple thunders away from winning, too. 
It sucks. So, just trying to get back. But yeah, Monsai, there's new commands for you to mess around with. There's a couple commands and there's a couple channel point rewards, which for some reason is only letting you use once for whatever reason. But anyway. But yeah, uh, all the commands that I've added in or found out more uh, to be more uh, accurate, uh, they're all affecting the stream avatar stuff. Monzai. Like. Like this. You're playing KH1. Sniper wilds are annoying. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they are. They are easily the most annoying thing. Or, okay, if not the most, then it's up there. And imagine dealing with sniper wilds at level one. They're just as just as annoying in level one. Not more. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's thunder. I think I made it. Got five power stones. You might need more than that, but good for you. Come on, hit me. Stitch. Stitch! Stitch! Do the thing! Thank you. There we go. Had to make sure he got lower to the ground. Okay, got rid of you. The rest of you will give me my score. I'm gonna get as many synthesis material before going to Hollow Bastion. They are they will have less HP if you do that, yeah. Chimera wasn't too bad. Chimera Yeah, Chimera is actually very easy. You only need five stones to make everything once? Oh, okay. Most guys who've seen said that. Okay, I, you did that grinding first. Okay. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. It also depends on what you're trying to do in the game. By the way, Monzai, what was your starting weapon? What'd you choose? Sword, shield, or mat, or staff? And, and 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 just to let you know, there is a right answer. <laughs> I'm half joking, but there is a right answer. In Kingdom Hearts One, anyway. to dodge around. Oh, great. Good. One more. There we go. Oh, no. That is the wrong option, Pikachu. That is the that is the wrong option. You see, the correct answer. You start with shield. Don't want to die. Give up the magic. Oh, Monzai, 
I think that might be the worst one because the correct answer is actually magic. That is actually the correct answer to pick the magic. And not because it's like magic all the way, mag magic's really good. It's more about how magic is calculated in the game. Dang it, that's too close. Damn it. I'm sorry. Try that again. Because how magic works in Kingdom Hearts 1... So with Kingdom Hearts 1, you are you have like individual like small bars. And so like a fire will use like a single bar or something like that. Maybe thunder uses like two bars. How magic is calculated is the damage that you deal with magic is... You get more power the more bars you have. So if you pick the staff you get an extra point in magic, which means your magic is now way more powerful than what it would normally be. <laughs> so getting that extra point in magic makes you more powerful. Whereas, and this is more so in, in a level one sort of case, you're dealing way more damage with magic than with swords. And you're gonna die in two hits anyway. Granted, that example is more of a level one run, but even so, the, uh, picking magic, getting that extra point in magic, that extra bar, your magic is now doing a lot more damage. And your cures do more, uh, heal more HP. Your, I think your arrows last longer. Oh, yeah. I half jokingly say that there is a right answer. But I'm not wrong, so that's why I say I'm half joking. <laughs> I mean, play the game however you want, I don't care. Interesting. I thought it was just a personality test. Oh, okay, no, Pikachu. Uh, there's, there is a personality test in Kingdom Hearts 1. There's two things to decide in Kingdom Hearts 1. You got your sword, shield, and staff decision, which... That does that increases certain stats, lower others, but that also uh, determines what skills you get on certain levels. So like, you will eventually get all the all the abilities, but you're gonna get them in different orders depending on what you pick. So for example, I believe. Like, guard, you'll get it at, like, level 4 if you pick shield. But if you choose magic, you get guard at, like, level 17. Like. Donald's doing a decent job supporting you with Aroga. Even if he's a bit trigger happy. Actually, Donald is actually not that bad in Kingdom Hearts 1. Especially if you go into the settings. If you customize Donald a little bit, he can actually not be as wasteful with his spells. Donald is actually not that bad. But yeah, um, also, Pikachu, the personality text, test thing. When you speak, you got the questionnaire between Titus, Waka, and Selfie. And by the end, whatever you choose, your your result is either, uh, what was it, dawn, midday, and sunset, something like that. Main annoyance with teammates is against the Sniper Wilds and Black Wizards. Oh, the Wizards are annoying. Um... Use gravity. Use stop. Those spells are really good. Uh, but yeah, that personality test that determines whether it's daybreak, midday, or sunset, that actually determines how fast you're going to level up or not. So if you pick, if you get midday, it just means your EXP is just going to be neutral throughout the entire playthrough. If you get... Uh, daybreak. How it works is you level up faster for the first 40 levels or 50 levels. But then on the last half, you gain less experience, so you're less... Or you need more experience to level up. And then... Uh, then Sunset is just the opposite. You know, it takes longer to level up for the first 40 to 50 levels, and then after that, it's a lot easier to level up. 
So that's the personality test of Kingdom Hearts 1. I always heard it was 40 levels, but I don't know. It might be 50. knows any of that stuff right yeah don't worry I've been playing Kingdom Hearts for like 20 years so I, I, I've learned a few things but yeah I think after the fact magic is like and eh, you can choose magic if you want you know it's not that drastic of a change Honestly, the choices in this game really mean nothing. Although one of the choices determine what skills you get upon level up. Which, in this run, doesn't matter! Goofy keep blocking your view and I couldn't keep lightning stone couldn't get lightning stones a few times. Oh, the deep jungle one. Yeah, that one's annoying. Something else popped in my head. Oh, by the way, uh, Monzai. Uh, Goofy in Kingdom Hearts 1 is the best party member of the entire series. I am not joking on that. Kingdom Hearts 1 Goofy is the best party member of the entire Kingdom Hearts series. In fact, you know, the, what I could come up with anyway. Because in Final Mix, and it is Final Mix specifically, he gets a skill called MP Gift. MP Gift is so good. It is broken. MP Battery, yep. There it is, MP Gift. He's that good. MP Gift is what makes Goofy the best party member in the series. Especially with how Kingdom Hearts 1 magic system works. So when you're doing like a magic run, if or if you ever like focus primarily on magic, but you're not doing a level one one run, Goofy is just helping you out, continuing letting you use spells like all the time. It makes the Phantom a lot easier too. Sadly, you don't get that sort of thing in level 1 runs. What? Well, that's a weird place for a magnet. Also, finished all the cups up to, up to Hercules. Yeah, you won't get Hades' cup until after Hall of Bastion. Uh. Hey, okay, Stitch Magic, thank you. Perfect. Hercules took a while, wasn't too bad. Cloud, Cloud rematch was tough. Oh. Here we go, round nine. Gotta be careful. Perfect. Sitch, thank you. Stun Stitch. There we go. Okay, now let's get the score. 
when can you do solo and time trials? As soon as you beat the cups. If you beat that cup, you have access to solo and time trial. Or you have access to one of them. Actually, yeah, I think you have solo. You get access to solo. And then after you beat solo, you get access to time trial. But yeah, as soon as you beat a cup, that's when you get access to it. I just don't think it outright tells you about it. I think you just need to go into the cup again and see. You put time into making gummy ships. So, Kingdom Hearts 1's gummy ships is the one where I really don't care to play through. Although, I have done every gummy mission before on my main file. Not on... Not on stream, though. I have not... I did not do every... I did not do the gummy missions on stream. I just don't find Kingdom Hearts 1's gummy ships to be that fun. But there are many ways to break them. Oh. Dancers are doing their grab. There we go. Now I'm safe. And part, I think part of it is, if I want to have a good gummy ship, I have to make it myself, and I don't really want to spend time in the gummy ship maker. And that, and also, I'm not really a big fan of the, basically the gummy ship mini gaming one, just in general. Whereas in Kingdom Hearts 2, one, I like the gummy ship missions more. It's way more arcadey, way more fast pace. After you beat it the first time, it's completely optional. You're never forced to do gummy ship missions after that. And they give you plenty of blueprints. So, like, every time you beat one, you'll get a new gummy ship. So you can play through the entire game with you using multiple gummy ships and never touch the gummy ship missions after that. So you don't have to spend time making new ones to get, you know, uh, get a good ship. And I also just like the gameplay. It's fun. Stitch. Thank you. Now let's not lose this time. Okay, thanks, Stitch, I guess. safe. No, none of that. I... So, I could rely on Reflect and probably do a ton more damage. But I am definitely risking it if I go with Reflect. Because I have to get up close to him. And again, as we kind of saw with with this, one hit... If I get hit once, I'm dead. But at least Hercules doesn't seem to combo. He seems to be a single hit and he's done. So it can... It can be pretty easy to go with the reflect strategy for Hercules. I just want to play it safe. Or try to. You know, stay as far away from him as possible. 
Oh, we're on the second half. Longer headbutt. Two hits for that. I can get damage in here. Gotta be careful. Give me strength. Wait it out. I'll thunder in the air if I have to. Nope. Wait it out. Two. There we go. Wait, one, two, one. And two, wait, one, two, one. One, two, stitch, please. Okay, I'll wait. Make sure to get him in the air. One, two. There we go. That is done. Ah, uh, finally. We got the score done. Here, let's look. Look. 10,000 or more. That is done. The only score challenge we need to do is Hades Cup. That is not going to be done today. <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of I kind of want to break it up and go back to data rematches, specifically fight Zemnis. But I've made progress and that's all that matters. Dumbo is useful against cyber, sniper rounds. Oh, really? I barely use Dumbo. How good is Dumbo? I know you can't really get hit when you're using Dumbo, so that's beneficial. Also, if you really want to use magic, uh, use Bambi. Because Bambi will just jump around and drop MP orbs. So equip stuff like Jackpot and Draw. Okay, so I want uh, da, 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 Decisive Pumpkin. I think everything else can stay the same. I'm not going into final form, so we can leave it as is. I still have all my elixirs. Let me check my abilities. I am not using summons. I'm not going to forms. A single, com a single combo plus is good. And I think that's all I need. We'll see if I need more. Because I don't remember at the moment. Okay, wait. Sorry. What is the best Keyblade, do I think? Outside of the Ultimate or Oath Keeper? Again, I think it's mostly just based on build and what you're trying to go for. Kingdom Hearts 1, there's stuff to consider. There's a lot more things to consider in Kingdom Hearts 1 when it comes to Keyblades. You gotta consider the strength, the extra magic you get, which by the way, because magic is so good, a lot of the ones like Diamond Dust 
that you get from Ice Titan or I think it's like some of the ones like uh, Fairy Harp are really good because they increase your MP or Lady Luck. Lady Luck is really good for that. So you got Strength, you got Magic. Some of them have a higher crit chance if you use a combo finisher. Like, uh, I think Fairy Harp and uh, oh, there was a Pinocchio one that did that. But the other thing you really have to consider when playing Kingdom Hearts 1, the length of the Keyblade actually matters. It actually affects uh, how far you, how close or far away you need to be from the opponent. And if you're trying to deflect certain attacks, it can make it easier or harder. So I think Kingdom Hearts 1 is really balanced in a lot of ways. With stuff to consider. But yeah, because I use I use magic a lot in my Kingdom Hearts 1 runs now. Stuff like Lady Luck and Diamond Dust are really good. Because they just give you they give you more MP. Halloween Town and Olympia? I remember. I remember the Decisive Pumpkin one being good. Olympia? I don't remember the specifics for Olympia. I don't remember how often I used it. Oh. I get back into the groove. You're teleporting a lot. Don't usually see that out of you. Faster dance. I'm caught. Dang it. I was trying to bait him to use his physical attack. Oh, hold on. It's been a while. Control C. There we go. Death number 1649. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember Halloween being good in Kim Hearts 1. And Oathkeeper is like, I think if I remember correctly, Oathkeeper is almost like an upgrade to it. You'll notice a lot of Keyblades are just treated as upgrades to each other. Be like, oh, this is the magic build one, but better. The better version of it. Oh, this is a, a stronger physical build with long reach. With not much drawbacks, like, like the Halloween Town one, and then compare that to, uh, compare that to Oblivion. They're kind of similar. It's just one's better than the other. Like, oh, there's, uh, here's the very short Keyblade, but has high crit rate. But then one's stronger than the other because one's an upgrade. Scorpion happened to run into him first time in Agro. Well, super hard, went back later, much easier. Uh, he'll be even easier if you wait until later. Wait, actually, 
Do you have arrow gun yet? No, you don't have... Do you have yellow trinity? I don't even remember. You need yellow trinity... And you need all the Dalmatian puppies. That's what it was. Yeah, if you get Arrow Ga, Pot Scorpion's even easier. Hell, even Chimera will be easier too. You have Yellow Trinity, so you have that at the very least. So you have Arrow Ra. Or you have the capability of getting Arrow Ra. the Dalmatian puppies that you might not have them all. Try that again. Can't get all Dalmatians so you get White Trinity. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be it. And I think that's after Hollow Bastion. So yeah, you you can't get arrow gun until later. But yeah, if you have arrow gun, pot scorpion will be even easier. Chimera will be slightly easier. Okay, I'm at four bars. Go here. Okay, phase two. Riku should have elixirs. The idea is we spam limits. That's the idea. It's been a little while. Anger and hate are supreme. Well, I could get a few attacks in. He used an elixir. Great, Riku wasted an elixir on me. Because I got hit. That's on me. Twitch updated for you? Interesting. Oh, we're on this face. Riku? Riku? I don't know if Riku should have another one.
I think the, the avatars just do things on their own. I don't think you get to do anything. It's just a little animation that plays. But yeah, that's something that can be done. I was okay. I was half paying attention. Yeah, dueling's pretty cool. If, uh... Hey, Pikachu, do you mind testing out duel yourself? And see if it works for you? If Because I, I don't know if I actually have it set up for mods or not. I don't know who is, it applies to right now. Seems to work. Yeah, it seems to work. Okay. But will Monzai accept the challenge? He might not he might not be listening. But yeah. I think the reason they have to accept... No, it just doesn't... I don't think it just ha It doesn't happen at all. Whoops. Because I think the reason they have to accept is because... I, if I'm correct, you can, like, bet or wager, like, the gold that you get. So... If you win, you get a, a wager or something. So, like, the gold that you get by whenever, like, you win a, a, uh, like, a battle royale, I guess that's what, I think that's what it's used for. And you could bet, uh, wager a certain amount, whether you win or lose, you know. I think that's why the other person has to accept Whereas when, when I set up with you, I, it, it was technically at zero, so it didn't really matter. It was just for the little animation. second sorry it'll be a lot more difficult to see. okay what'd you say monzai sorry you got distracted didn't interview today and got you got you got z text telling you they liked me oh got a text very nice so you might have an internship that lead to experience which might lead to a job in japan and then you'll be home again. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, you were trying to buy in, Mon um, Pikachu. I, I, I get. I see what you're trying to do. I don't know how to set that up. I need to look into that. But yeah, I, I know there's a way to do it. I just don't know how. But yeah, uh, Monza, I hope you get the job. That'd be cool. Yeah, don't worry. We're just testing out a, a program that I have here.
buy and fix up an Akiya and live in live the Totoro lifestyle. Just try to ignore all the property taxes and ignore the magical fairy creatures that are living in the forest nearby. As all anime seems to show, you know. What am I doing? All right. Phase two. Yep. I either need to just spam try. Yeah, I need to spam triangle just in case he goes for that move. It's either that or he goes for the orbs again. I would like to get the orbs twice and then limit. That's what I want to try to do. Get some get a lot of damage on him before I start spamming limits. that up I just, yeah I was waiting for him to do that because I knew he was gonna do that at some point oh yeah Monzai in Kingdom Hearts 1 I know that you haven't messed around with EXP 0 and why would you but there is like EXP Zero actually has some passive abilities, like, pre-installed on it. Like, it automatically gives you once more, and, like, some other abilities, like, I... Does it give you Leaf Bracer? It might give you Leaf Bracer, I don't remember. But it gives you a few abilities, but one thing it does do, it lets you access Dam in storage. And it's another reason why magic is so good. How damage storage works is when you use magic, it will use whatever the last multiplier that you, oh, oops. it will use whatever your last attack multiplier was. And if you use a physical keyblade combo finisher, technically that's a I believe a times two combo modifier, right? So because of that. Because that's a combo modifier of two. Now, if you don't use your Keyblade after that and just use magic, all your magic attacks are now basically times two because of that Keyblade attack modifier. So one strategy that can be done is you set up damage, damage storage and then you summon Mushu. Because what Mushu does is just spam little fireballs and watch the damage fly. But I think that only applies to when you have EXP Zero equipped. I also don't even know if you have EXP Zero. I don't know if you're playing Proud. Yeah. 
Because that's an ability you only get on crowd mode. Hey, CT. How's it going? Yeah, um... I just got the score done with all the cups, except for Hades Cup. And when it comes to uh, data rematches, we got Xemnas, we got Vexen, and we got Zigbar. And that's all that's left. And I look away for just one second, and I wasn't going in a circle. Well, how's it going, CT? Just busy? Yeah, aren't we all? Don't know what happened there. Yeah, so just three fights left and Hades Cup score attack. And then we're done with level one. KH2. But yeah, CT, I've also I've been playing Bloodborne on right now Kingdom Hearts 2 is just Wednesday since we got very little left to do. And I wanted to play Bloodborne while it was October at the time when I started it. So right now Kingdom Hearts 2 is just Wednesdays until I get it done. Metal Chocobo bad? I don't... I, I used to like Metal Chocobo because it hits hard and it has good reach, but if I remember correctly, it it isn't as great as you think it is. Is there something I'm missing about Metal Chocobo that I'm forgetting? It's been a while. Like, even if you're going for, like, a, a pure physical build, I think there might be better Keyblades. I could be misremembering. Better Blade a few fights after Metal Chocobo. Yeah, you know what? That might just be it. It's like, if you get Metal Chocobo as early as possible, it could be useful for when you can use it, but it quickly gets outclassed by better Keyblades shortly, shortly after. That might be it. But even when I got Metal Chocobo, I think I still use something like Fairy Harp for higher crit rate. And you can't get Lady Luck till later. So, what would have been the magic build? Uh, Crap Claw, maybe? Or was Fairy Harp also a magic build? I forget. It's only been a little over a year since I last played Kingdom Hearts 1. You think I'd remember. It doesn't do crits and it reduces MP. Yeah, so what you're asking for is pure power and range. I think that's part of the reason why I 
stopped using Metal Chocobo is purely for the reduced MP. I think that's the main reason. Alright. Let's try this again. Anger and hate are supreme. Riku healed me with MP. Good. Do it again. Great. He wasted an elixir on himself. for whatever reason. And he's doing the dance. I was mashing triangle. I don't know what else to do. Not 100%, not 100% sure what I could have done there. Yeah, that's part of the reason why you use limits for when he's doing that dance move. Because it's very inconsistent. Again, you can guard all of his attacks, but it's it was way riskier to do that. So far, this phase one is a lot easier doing the way I did it. I'm doing it. Okay, faster dance? Yep. dance. There we go. I was in range. dance. Okay, good. Phase two.
Maybe I'll just get the one combo in. Anger and hate. Maybe I'll just get one combo. Get another limit in there. Is that all you got? I think Riku might have only used one. Uh, he might have only used one limit or one potion, whatever. And I lost track of him. Let me go also go ahead and do a set this up again. I was doing okay, but I lost track of Zemnis. Probably should have just gone for the limit anyway. Even if I don't beat Zemnis today, I still made progress. So that's something. variants. This is it. Seems to use it twice in a row. Once he has first access to that. Is that consistent? Let's see if he does it again. No? That might not be consistent. I might be just looking into it too much. I thought I made that, but okay. And we're good. Okay. 
go. Perfect. Off to phase two again. Try it again. Anger and hate are supreme. Okay. One set. And we limit. Oh, uh, great. And he wasted an elixir for it. Great. Okay, so he's used one. He has five more. Five more. I was out of MP. Dana, I should have just kept dodging. I think that's why I try to go for two. Try to get past that dance move. Dang it. Teleport. Dance. Okay. Oh, Manzai. If you're going to Japan again, are you going to go to Universal Japan? Because they're opening up the Donkey Kong Land next month. there. Nope. Too far away. Try that again. Maybe one combo will do the trick. Yep, that's enough. Okay, back to phase two again. Try it again. 
Maybe I'll try to go for two reflex, then limit. Or this. Kind of a waste of some of this, but... Go. Gotta wait for Riku. What's he doing? Just mash triangle. He's almost done. I tried to get away. I tried. I didn't double jump. Uh, might get the. Ah, hi Molly. Yes. What? You you want attention? What is it? Might. Get the appeal of going to Universal, but like for you, the things you're most excited about when it comes to Japan are the small things, the things you did there when I lived there. No, I get it. It's just more of like, right now that's the only way to go. Like Universal, Florida isn't going to open up until next year, and we don't even know when. It's actually like the convenience stores. No, I I get I get that vibe. Right, Molly. Right. Are you being needy? You are kind of being needy. Hey, can you, can you not? You messed with my headphones by doing that. Molly, no! <laughs> She's being very needy and wants attention. Okay, uh, she needs to go outside. That's what she wants. I'm gonna have to step away. Uh, BRB.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, obviously, Molly needed to go outside. And then she got hungry and went and started eating. So, uh, what was that? Uh, while I'm doing this, trying to do the Hercules Cup time trial. Bit under leveled, you think? To be fair, when I did level one, I think I skipped time trial and solo. At least I think I did. Because I don't think those were possible. And if they were possible and I did them, I think I skipped them. I I don't remember. Because they weren't required. I probably did solo by myself. Uh, cups. Because that could be done at level one, I think. It's the time trial, I'm not sure. Actually, I might I might have done those. It, it's been way too long. I, I forget if I did those on level one. Just know, Monzai, you're not under leveled. You could be playing at level one. Good. He went for guard first. Two more bars of health. Oh yeah, Monzai, wait until you get to the super bosses. You don't need to do everything in the game, Monzai, like if you don't want to, but I would at least encourage you to do the super bosses. There's like, what, five, six of them? Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 has like five or six super bosses, right? But yet... Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix has like 20. Because you got the 13 data rematches. You got five of those, not the rematches, but the absent silhouettes. And then you got Sephiroth and Lingering Will. <laughs> so you have like five super. Anger and hate are supreme. Yeah, this game has 20 super bosses. And even if you don't count. The absent silhouettes, which I think I do. It, it's still... Still a good 15. Yeah, there are definitely, a, like, two super bosses I have in mind that will probably give you some trouble. Like, I 
didn't do anything. I think if he's in the if he's doing the dance, I need to set up a an elixir. Cause there's a good chance Riku's not. Okay. It's really about getting past that, like, massive dance move. Because that's a big hurdle. But it doesn't help the fact that I ran out of magic. Because I could be reflecting through that. And if not, I could be using my limit. Hey, CC, I don't know if you're still listening or if you're, like, stepping away, but is there a... I know level one runs of Birth by Sleep can be done. I haven't really looked into it too much, but what about 358? Is 358 possible to be done at level one? I never hear anyone talk about 358. Almost messed that up. Uh, oh, I almost got hit by that. Stop. And I know with Chain of Memories, you can't do a proper level 1 run. The closest you could do is boost your card points and just never go past the card point limit from when you start with. And that'd be the closest you could do to a level 1 run for Chain of Memories. Yeah, I, I have never heard anyone try a level 1 run in 358, or recoded it for that matter. Actually, is it even possible in Dream Drop? I don't hear people talk about Dream Drop either. Almost there. Alright. Dump this phase. So I'm gonna do one card, one run of Chain of Memories. Yeah, I think we're thinking of the same person. Game champ. Uh, yeah, he did that for Rechain of Memories. Yeah, he did a level one run, quote unquote, for the Game Boy Advance version of Chain of Memories, and then for Rechain of Memories, he did a, a single card run. Phase two. Hey, Lord Jefferson, how's it going? What's going on? Currently, Kingdom Hearts 2. We got the score done for Paradox Titan. And now we're just trying, trying data rematches for Xemnas. That's so far what's been going on. Okay. Riku wasted an elixir. Okay. 
I think he's doing that big dance move. And I got hit. Dang it. Level up? I know you can level... I know you level up in 358. Using the upgrade uh, blocks, but... If I don't use any level up blocks, you could be at level 1. I just don't know if it's possible. Yeah, I have never heard anyone talk about it. I know you can just never quote-unquote level up. But I just don't know if it's possible. Yeah, Lord Jefferson, I have a bunch of new commands that you can mess around with and a couple uh, channel point rewards too. I should say I didn't, I should say I found that these are available, not necessarily created them. <laughs> Uh, Vanish is not one of them. At least I don't think so. I don't remember seeing that. So you have... You have Bomb. You place a Bomb. And if you can look at mine... Where is it at? Vanish? I didn't... I don't know what that does. I've never heard of that one. You got Bomb. You got... Explode. Load. You have freeze. Am I back yet? I want to make sure I'm back. There we go. You have freeze. Don't know if it. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Command that deletes all messages in chat by timing you out for a second. It's fun because you can say random facts and then vanish. Oh, I never, I never made one like that. Does it only delete or vanishes the user's uh, chat log, or does it get rid of all of them? And then you also have. Uh, Oh, it's just the user. Okay, that's good. Is it temporary or does it permanently get rid of it? You also have Firework. Only one that does the command. Right, okay. Gets rid of all chats before the command, and it's a permanent one. That's weird. It's like they're never even there. Interesting. But yeah, uh, those four commands that I just showed off, you could do at any time. There is a variant, which you can do as a channel point command for very cheap. But it's basically makes everyone uh, do any of those four commands that I just showed off. I'm dead. I can do those uh, mass variants as a normal command, but everyone else in chat has to use channel point rewards, which is very cheap. Uh, there was another one. Oh. You could do... But so far, uh, we had a problem with the channel point rewards for some reason. I, I have it set to a one minute delay for each one of them. And for some reason, it was just only letting you use it one time. And I don't know why. 
so I increase the number of times a, 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 a person can use them to 999. And apparently there was still that issue, so I don't know if it's a case where tomorrow if it will work properly or not. And also, you have this. A little slot machine pops up and you may or may not get gold. Uh, apparently, you can actually bet some gold. I don't know how that works. There is another one. You're gonna set this up. Dual, and what I'll do is I'll just, can I copy paste? No. No. I think it will be ba faster if I do that. There we go. So one thing you could do, you could hit dual and then type the person you wanna duel with if you choose to accept. We shall duel. And then once you accept, the little avatars will have a duel, one on one. Mono e mano. Just man to man. Just you and me and my guards. But yeah, that's something you can do, and you can choose anyone in chat but again th i think the reason they have to accept it is because you can technically bid gold or wager gold I i'm i keep using it. and i'm dead damn but i don't know how to do that so yeah so far that's what you can do Sorry, I'm like half paying attention. I'm just showing off the cool things I discovered we can do. Apparently, it was always available. <laughs> I just didn't know. Slash, I need to set some of them up to where anyone can use them. Because some of them were set up to where only I can use them. So I changed them to everyone, basically. There's technically a couple more you can do, but they're a little bit more involved. So it's one of those things where I would need to set up preemptively. Unless I can make a channel point reward to set them up. There is one thing that was I knew was always available but I wanted to properly set up. There's like raid boss battles you could do with stream avatars. But I need to get like, oh, wait, okay, good. I need to get like special uh, sprites to use for boss fights. I want to use specifically, if I can, like the Mega Man Battle Network, like final boss ones. But I think I would have to somehow make those myself. And by make those not myself, I mean get the sprite sheets and somehow program a boss towards them. But I don't know how to do that. 
I can't just download it off Steam Workshop. No one has done it. I'm gonna blame you, Monzai. You distracted me. <laughs> or not Monzai. Yes, I blame Monzai. No, Lord Jefferson. I blame you. I have that tab opened up for me to look at later. But yeah, if I could figure out how to make, uh, like, the bosses that I want to do, specifically, like, the Battle Network ones, I would love to do the final bosses. Make those ra raid bosses. I would love to set those up. The problem is, I don't know how. And also, the thing about those raid bosses, it's more involved. So... In a situation like this where I'm playing the game, I'm not I wouldn't really be joining in. So setting something like that up would be good with a lot of people in chat. I would also just like to have the Mega Man Battle Network sprites available to choose from, just as your avatar. But no one has really messed around with Mega Man stuff. You beat Hercules in Time Trial. Very nice, Monzai. Thunder Spam was the key. That is usually a key. Dang it. Okay, that's not me. I am not doing well. By the way, don't slack on gravity. If gravity actually hits, it, it could do a lot of damage. Although I don't know if Hercules is susceptible to gravity. Stun impact? Oh, stun... Stun impact is really good, and gravity break. Those are good abilities. It's too bad I couldn't use them on my level 1 run. I would like to, though. Oh yeah, don't slack on gravity. It's really good. Especially if you get maxed out, you know, like Gravaga. If you have Gravaga, it can actually one-hit KO enemies. Like, you think it's only percentage base, but it's like most of the damage is percentage base, but then it does like a little bit more after that based on like your magic stat. I forget like the actual formula. enough you have two combo finishers very cool it just kind of chooses between which one it decides to go with but it's nice to have multiple options dang it I got distracted again You did have gravity equipped mainly to deal with the pirate ships. Yeah, that's a good use for them. Uh, actually, a lot of the end game enemies are really susceptible to gravity. You could also uh, pair it up with stop. 
You can use stops so they don't move and then you use gravity. Combo plus is good? Yes, it is. Combo plus is really good. But yeah, the thing about the stop spell, if I remember correctly, the higher upgraded tiers, I think just increase its range from the target. So you can hit more enemies with stop. And the duration of stop lasts based on how big your MP bar is. I think that's how it works. Always feel like you're hit hurting for AP. Um, you're able to craft AP ups though. So that is something you can do, but it would take a lot of grinding. But you're also, like, what, not even level 40? So you'll get more AP ups. Just on your levels. Also, you could make equipment that can more drastically increase your AP. Was uh, through synthesis. Okay, you're just level 40. You're just past level 40. Okay, never mind. You're a little bit higher level than I thought you were. You're probably about at the right point for Hollow Bastion. Maybe a little over level, maybe? I don't know. Take off Treasure Magnet and Lucky Lucky to free up some AP if you're stuck on the fight. Yeah, uh, if you have those equip mods, uh, you can unequip those. Because you might, you probably won't need them for a boss fight. Anger and hate are supreme. Or Lucky Strike as it is in Kingdom Hearts 1. Great. Kind of a waste, but oh well. Crafted 18 items so far? Well, you can repeat crafts. I didn't use my elixir. Okay, I escaped. Riku spammed like another elixir. That just did not go well at all. Okay. Yeah, I gotta really pay close attention. And see if he does that da dance move. He might just be, be guaranteed to use that move after I use my first limit. 
So I really need to just use my elixir. And Riku wasted like two elixirs already. So that's not a good sign. But yeah, I know there's an end game piece of equipment that you can craft Bonsai, but I don't think you can craft it yet. I think it's later. It's I think it's the Crystal Crown. It's a really good piece of equipment that drastically boosts your uh, max MP. Basically max that out and give everyone like a full set of Crystal Crowns. And you have everyone has a lot of MP to use. Ah, come on. Okay, whatever. This is what happens when I talk strategies in other Kingdom Hearts games. Now you lose focus. able to do the faster dance if he decides to there it is that again one maybe two combos no, I, I need to do that again that might be enough nope it wasn't dang it uh, losing my groove here Just double check and see if I had like a texture. Ex the exclusives ring as cheating? Uh, which ring are you talking about? Or is it executives ring? I yeah, which ring are you talking about? Gives you plus 30 AP. Oh, is that in this game? Or is that in KH1? I mean... 
I don't know. No, that is in this game, isn't it? I mean, the game gives it to you. I don't see why it would be considered cheating. I, I don't see why it would be considered cheating. It's a piece, it's one piece of equipment that the game gives you. So you can use it if you need AP. I guess the further question is, would would using synthesis to make AP ups, or would fighting, oh who is it, like Luxord, or I'm sorry, Luxord, and fighting Luxord, Luxord multiple times to grab AP ups, is that considered cheating? with bad stats, but there was a point where you just wanted a full move set for super bosses. Uh, oops. So, uh, this run isn't, like, pure bad stats. I kind of used what the game gave me. But I didn't do specific grinding, so I guess it really doesn't matter. So, when it comes to the power boost, the magic boost, strength boost, if they came from a treasure chest, I just gave them to Sora. If uh, I had to synthesis, you have to synthesis one of each at some point. So I gave that to Sora, but I did not do any grinding to make more. And I think... I used each one of the ones that you get from the data rematches once, but I didn't grind for more. Actually, I don't even know if I did that. I don't even know if I did that. But when it comes to the AP ups, I've only used two on Sora. The rest are from accessories and I get more than enough I have more than enough honestly oh I could be swapping my stuff over eh, I have the defensive stuff shock charms isn't gonna help me anyway like uh... so but with my AP ups I actually gave them to Donald and Goofy so they would have a full move set if I needed to, or most, so they could use most of their abilities at a time. And Riku wasted an elixir. Was it the smartest idea? Probably not, but I actually have more than enough with Sora. Riku wasted like another elixir. He's in the middle of... Dang it. Yeah, uh, do I still have some of those items? Oh, I still have the defense boost and magic boost from... Data rematches, so I still haven't used those. But... I mean, that is a good point. You probably sh I probably shouldn't have used those, but here's the thing about level 1. Uh, how it works is you have to get past a certain threshold to actually do more damage. Level 1 is hard enough as it is, so anything goes, really. There is that argument. Counter-argument. Here's the counter-argument. I could just refight Saix over and over and over again since he's super easy to beat. Oh, I didn't realize there was an ad break. And just grind for defense boosts. 
I could fight. Anyway. Ad break ended. Should be done by now. Uh, again, the counterpoint to the whole level one being hard enough as it is. Here's my counterpoint. Uh, Sykes is super easy to beat because you can easily just do the Peter Pan strat. You could just grind defense boosts over and over and over from him and just grind out your defense. Look Sword is not that bad to fight. You could grind AP ups over and over and over again. At what point? At what point is it cheating? I think that's the real question. With Luke's sword to grind AP ops, at the very least, we're just talking about having the ability to equip everything, but that doesn't mean you're going to win. As you can see, I still have plenty of AP left over because I don't need everything. Like, I don't need this. I don't need another combo plus for uh, specifically with how Xemnas works. I don't want him to start teleporting in phase one. So that's why I only have a single combo plus. I don't have any air combo pluses because I don't need them. <coughs> I mean, stuff like form boost and summon boost would be nice to equip and just have permanently. Same thing with lucky lucky. So I don't have to constantly just unequip them when I don't need them. But that's the thing. I don't need these. I don't need these for every fight. But if you really wanted to... Uh, it's right in here. What is it? Uh, Secutive's ring. You could equip this. And just get 30 extra AP. Actually, it's more like 24. No, it's 30. You could get 30 extra AP and just equip everything if you wanted to. But you're trading off stuff like full blooms, which gives you the MP rest restoration and boosts in strength, you know? There's trade-offs there. I should actually set these back. Well, it's I'm not spamming thunder, so it's not doing anything. I don't think using the executive's ring would be cheating. You also only get one of them anyway. But as you can kind of see, I've only used two AP boosts on Sora. And I messed up the Roxas bit during like the, the odd job section. So I only got the one extra AP boost from that. Yeah, I only used two on Sora. I don't need everything. And I think it's mostly because the bosses will just stop the attack after a certain amount of hits. So, like, I would love to do the the ground combo, smack him into the air, and then continue in the air combo. I would love to do that, but they break out of it. So you don't need upper slash. You don't need full ground and air combos because... As you can see, he starts teleporting after five hits. And it messes... There's a harder chance to get away. That's the reason I only have four ground combo. Because I want a chance for him to teleport. And it gives me more time to react. But yeah, I, uh, when it comes to the grinding aspect for it, like... Fighting Saix over and over and over again. Fighting Luxor over and over and over again. At what point does it become cheating? Because you're essentially just leveling up without actually gaining a level if you just continue to grind over for it. I use the ones that the game gives me, like in Treasures. I use the one that I have to make through Synthesis because you have to make at least one of each. But I didn't grind more. Had to order dinner, Monzai. Oh, what you getting?
chicken tenders. Very cool. Very nice. Looking for what you could craft, and it seems most of the materials you need are either in or post Hall of Bastion. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's the thing. Uh, one thing to consider, Monzai, though, some uh, materials are going to be easier pre Hollow Bastion. Because once you beat Hollow Bastion, a lot of the enemies get shuffled around. So some enemies are going to be a little bit harder to find. Like, I, I, the ones that come to mind are like the Red Nocturnes, the br Blue Rhapsodies. I think they appear in less rooms. But you'll find a lot more Dark Balls, Defenders, Wizards. Wasted? You wasted an elixir already. I'm just going to set up an elixir right away. There we go. Set this up. Riku can set the elixir. I think he's only used one. And that chases me down. Dang it. Oh, that one. Uh, there is two spots it can spawn. One of them's worse than the other. It can spawn in Atlantica. Never use that one. Uh, you need to go to Deep Jungle. You need to go to the Treehouse. I... Actually, can you do this one now? You should be able to. I don't think that's one of the ones that you have to beat Hollow Bastion for or anything. You need to go to the Treehouse. And... If you start running towards the Treehouse and no enemies spawn, you're on the right enemy pattern. Because there are going to be three... Uh, white Mushrooms in somewhere around the treehouse you're gonna have to find all three and cast stop on them once you do that then uh the pink agresius pops in in the center of the cabin and what you need to do is you need to cast what you probably should do is you cast wind to set yourself up you cast stop and you try to do as many attacks on them as possible which that basically requires stuff something like the uh, what was it? The Ragnarok? Uh, what was it? Combo Finisher? You're trying to get as many hits on him as possible. You're going to want elixirs for it, too. And as much MP as possible. But since it it's about how many hits you uh, work on it, that's why you want wind, because each of the wind hits counts. Uh, I think you can do it before Hollow Bastion. But I might be misremembering. You could just go check the treehouse. And again, if you start walking towards the treehouse and you see some regular enemies, then it's not there. Leave the room and come back. It's just harder to do early, I think, is what it was. Because for ideal results, you want arrow guy. You want stop... Well, stop guy just increases the range. So you just want a, a bunch of magic for duration. Uh, 
And you also would want Ragnarok, I believe. And Goofy with empty gift certainly helps. Caught! He hit my foot! Okay, so if... Okay, if he's in Atlantica, then he's at the treehouse. I just wasn't sure if this was a case where you had to wait. But yeah, I'd never try to do it in Atlantica. Because you don't have, like, a good moveset. It's really hard to do. I don't even know why he's even there. Okay, good, I was close enough. Oh. Now that I'm thinking of the special enemies that were added in Final Mix, Monzai, have fun with the stealth soldier. Have fun with that. That's a Hall of Bastion one. That one was really difficult to deal with on level one, that's for sure. Uh, Thunder Gems are what now? Was that the the mini game in Deep Jungle? Atlantica, Atlantica enemies. All oh, right. Uh, yeah. You know what? It's probably a good idea to do that before Hall of Bastion, because there's a lot of dark balls that will spawn in after the fact. So you'll see more Dark Balls than the other enemies. So yeah, it's a good idea to do that first. Something. I, I had a feeling I would have to cut soon, but I just got a text. Besides, I'm not really getting anywhere with this fight. <laughs> but hey, we made progress on the Olympus. So that's something. Let me go ahead and do a... Do that. All right. Last attempt. Anger and hate are supreme. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, that did not go well. I could have tried to limit, but I was trying to do a physical attack. Oh well. Yeah, something's popped up. I had a feeling I would have to cut early, but I just saw a text, so, yeah. And now's a good time as any. Now let me go ahead and save. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Wednesday is Kingdom Hearts 2. The rest of the day is...
Bloodborne. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. Next time on Kingdom Hearts, I'm going to need all the... Well, I don't know, I'm focused, but we're going to do the Hades Cup. Make that the first priority. And if we're doing the safe route, it's going to be a few hours. So it's going to be boring, but I need all the distractions I can get. Anyway, and then and then still data rematches. Anyway, have a good day. Later.